This section assumes that you know why your customers buy your company's products or services. Once you know that, you focus on the outcome, which is good. Let's return to OKR for a moment. With OKR, we laid out our goals as a chain backwards in time. When the intermediate goals were met, the main goal was achieved. In the chain, each goal was a precondition for the next. With EBM, we create our goals as we go. This makes EBM more natural because the plan grows with our insights. We plan only for the shortest possible time. We do not try to create a plan for the entire trajectory. Instead, we take small steps, which we call experiments. An experiment is a loop with four phases. You make a hypothesis, which is an idea that brings you closer to the strategic goal. Then you and your team create an experiment and run it to prove the hypothesis. You will come to an insight where you will typically get more ideas. These two phases, inspect and adapt, are treated as a final process step that completes the cycle. This cycle is the key concept in EBM. You need to continuously check if you are dealing with outcome. Does it serve to improve the customer experience? Discuss, reason, and validate as a team. If it doesn't pass the test, then it may be waste. Avoid waste. Absorb this knowledge with awe. If your organization can practice EBM, then you are far more effective than your competition. Inspecting and adapting opens a natural path to the next iteration. More importantly, it provides an opportunity to challenge the strategic goal. Don't change it lightly. The modification of the strategic goal requires the consent of all parties involved. The terms inspect and adapt make EBM an agile process. In the next video, we begin the doing by mirroring the process on a consent storm post-it board.